morning to everyone. I am V. Pami, studying in 10th class in MJP School, Saluru. Today, on this special day, on the Science Day, we have made the project on disaster management, and we have made three alarms for the disaster management: fire alarm, earthquake alarm, and flood alarm. And now, as if we, now I am going to explain about the fire alarm. Fire accident is a disaster which could be caused by man or naturally. Sometimes it can it can be controlled, but sometimes it may cause huge damage to life and property. As we see here, we have installed the fire alarm, and the when the fire is arrived here, the alarm starts ring ringing and the bulb starts glowing. So as if we see here, the people around it are alerted and the victims are saved by the rescue team, and the message is sent to the. Rescue team by the control room. Good morning to everyone. I am P. Venkati. I am studying 10th class in MJP Sir. Now I will explain about earthquake alarm. Uh, first of all, I will explain about what is earthquake. An earthquake is what happens when tectonic plates has been separated under tre tremendous pressure under the earth. If if it occurs on the earth, it is called earthquake, and if it occurs on the sea, it is called tsunami. Uh, and our project is based on the earthquake. Uh, uh, if earthquake has been arisen, the building will shake and the pendulum has been shaken and it cannot. It will touch just the metal connector. If if it touches the metal connector, the bulb will glow and alarm will rang. Due to the ringing of alarm and the glowing of bulb, the people at that areas has been alerted. We also arrange control room in this situation. By the control room, this gives information to the uh, rescue team and the people at that areas, and they, we can also save the lives of the people. Now I am going to explain about the flood alarm. The flood is the overflow of water which submerges the particular area of land which have been affected by the flood. Now we, if you see, we have installed here the flood alarm. This alarm works according to that particular area flood level. We have installed this below the flood level of that particular area so that the people are alerted before the flood level. So as we see here, when the water level is increased. The alarm starts glowing so that the people are alerted here when the uh, when the alarm rings and the light glows so that the rescue team is uh, conducts the rescue operation and the people are saved there. And as if we see here, we have made the diagram models of the uh, disasters which have been already occurred. This is the flood uh, flood disaster model and this is earthquake disaster model and this is fire disaster model. As we see here. We have small, uh, we have few incidents of the flood in our India, and here we have one incident which have been occurred in India. Bihar is the India's most flood-prone state, with 76% population in the North Bihar living under the recurring threat of the flood deviation. The 2013 flood affected over 5.9 million people in 3,768 villages in 20 districts of the state, and by killing 514 people. These are some incidents of earthquake. Now I will explain about the incident Assam Tibet earthquake. In 1950, Assam Tibet earthquake occurred on 15th August and had a movement magnitude of 8.6. It occurs on Tuesday evening at 7:39 Indian Standard Time. The earthquake was destructive in both Assam and Tibet, and approximately 4,800 people were killed. These are some incidents of fire accident, and this is one of the fire accident. It was in the Kumbakona. The four-story building was cramped with sleeping ladders. The fire broke in around 5 in the morning. In the instant, 43 people lost their lives and 16 were injured with the help of 150 firefighters. The fire was raised in four hours from the time of the incident. Thank you. And we and we are thankful to our teachers who are involved in this project. Our uh, biology teacher, Kalyan Pudi Swapna Madam and our physics teacher, uh, and we are very thankful to our principals. To our science teachers, biology teacher Kalyam Pudi Swapna Madam and uh, physics teacher Tentu Pushpalata Madam and we are also thankful to our principal sir and we are very uh, thankful to our friends who are involved in this project uh, uh, Maunika Sri, Keerthi, Indira, uh, Indira Ramya. and Ramya and we are also very thankful to the uh, teaching and non-teaching staff who are involved in this project and thank you for, for giving, giving us, us giving this, us this wonderful opportunity. opportunity.